guess who's back? Back again. Bricks and toys. Tell a friend. Because guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? We are back. Da 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 da. You feeling it? As I am. Now on to today's video after the intro. Welcome to Bricks and Toys. My name is Brandon, and this is officially the first video, full video, of me back in the studio. You guys by now have already seen Friday's video, which is the recap video. Technically, that was my first appearance back in the studio but not full video. That video was two weeks long in recording. Then after that, we did the ATST Raider build that was on the ship. So today, Sunday, we're kind of doing a vlog style video and we are back. So I'm so excited to be fully back in a, you know, in a video. It feels great. Tomorrow, we are filming the Peugeot, uh, the Technic 9x8 Peugeot. Super excited about that build. As of right now, I just wrapped up the intro on that build. And maybe tonight or tomorrow, I'll get building it. So, super excited for that. Because that's the first actual build back. It feels so good to be back. Even though it's just for a week, then it's three more days off. Just three more days. Not too bad. But I have high quality uh, videos for you guys while I'm out doing that. You guys won't even tell that I'm gone like you did before. So no worries. So the Peugeot is the first build that's back. And then after that, we got a vlog. And then after that, we have a Jurassic Park uh, themed uh, build. And then I think I another vlog. And then three high quality videos like I never left. And then I'm back. And this time I have no trips planned after that. If you guys don't know, on Thursday the 15th, I am leaving to go see Blink-182 with my lovely wife. June 16th is the 10 year anniversary since the day that we held each other's hand and we said that we love each other and let's be together. Since we made that decision, it's been 10 years of a roller coaster ride of all types of good and bad and things that make us strong and we're a hell of a unit as we are today so what better way to celebrate than the take her to a concert not to mention like i haven't said before or i have said before she took me to my first book 182 concert when we started dating so this is full circle so anyway on the term of jurassic park coming out as the next build but that was a pre-recorded one that I did because honestly guys coming back from a trip I'm really kind of stressed about getting these next few uh, videos out and then getting on to the next you know little venture I got you know in LA to go see Blink you know it's kind of hectic so on that Jurassic Park build I talk about the new Jurassic Park sets and we kind of do the build to honor in the sets so I don't want to give away too much other than just that. For everything else, the review and unboxing time lapse, you gotta wait till you that you know you gotta wait till the video is aired. I think that's on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. You guys will see when it comes up. So that's kind of the theme of today's video. I kind of wanted to kind of talk to you guys, let you guys know that you know Bricks and Toys is back. We're doing great. Super happy. It feels great to be back. It feels great to take some time off with the family. It just feels really good. A lot of good energy right now. And the thing is, is with the trip and, and all the heavy lifting of, you know, the financial burden of everything, I decided to not buy any brand new Lego sets for the month. Instead, 
do this vlog style welcome back video and in this video we're going to go over to my laptop here in a, in a minute and let's just talk about all the new stuff that's coming out or has came out and let's give let's give you my first impressions of those sets i've already gone on to lego uh, while i was about to get off the cruise ship i couldn't wait any longer june 1st had already passed i had to see what was there and oh my gosh I really want to share my opinion of these sets with you guys and that's the point of today's video. But the thing is, is just because I'm not going out and buying this month, well at least as of right now that's, that's my decision. I, you know I told my investor just to back off for right now and the reason is, is to take a trip for a family of six and two cars for two weeks, even though one of those weeks was already prepaid for is a lot of financial burden doing the math we'd still saved a thousand dollars versus flying flying for a family of six with a ton of luggage is not cheap so that's why we went ahead we took two cars to drive six people up north to the port take it then take the ship and do the whole journey so for you people out there that's thinking well i don't know why he's saying it was so expensive he took two cars if you look up the math on the luggage prices and then getting the people, you know, there and back tickets and luggage prices there and back, it was still a thousand dollars cheaper. So, but because of that, the person that did the trip is the investor of the channel, which is my mom. I don't, you know, I'm starting to disconnect my mother from the investor portion of this channel but sometimes I have to reconnect and that's why we're not doing or that's why we're not buying any new Lego sets this month is I am reconnecting she's my mom she just made the ultimate financial sacrifice to share something that she loves cruising with my family and I and I am so appreciative of her and the opportunity that she gave forth but that being said that trip there and back not to count the part that she already prepaid for and had plenty of time to pay off over the last seven eight months of planning that part of that trip cost a few lego store hauls guys so it's not a laughing matter i cannot here sit here with a good conscience and let her go out to the lego store after just spending you know that much money to get us there and back and plus the ultimate blessing of what we saw because of, of her but don't be but don't be turned down guys i have an amazing month planned for you guys like i said i have three good builds coming up while i'm singing blink 182 then when i'm back we hop into the modular buildings that i promised you guys at the 200 subscriber mark I got that all planned, all pre-produced in my head, not on paper. I do everything in my head. So those will be four videos coming out. Then we have a bunch of vlogs coming out on top of that of where we're going to work in the city and do stuff here and there for the month. And then I think for other builds, we got a couple Star Wars builds mixed in. And you know what, guys, before you can count sheep, the month is over. And then we'll be on July 1st. And that's when we're going to go and catch up for June and July. And we have a whole blank calendar, all but three spots, to do all of those builds. I just, with, like I, like I said, with the money and everything, I'm just not comfortable spending money right now on Lego. We need to recover from the trip. And honestly, guys, we have plenty of content for the month. So let's just get through this month because I got some really cool stuff planned that doesn't need to be buying new Lego. So with that, let's get to the laptop and let's talk about these new sets and share my thoughts and opinions on these sets. Let's go. Okay, so here we are on the Lego website. So let's go ahead. Let's go and... I think we hit shop and then we're gonna go over here we're gonna click in new and let's see what they have under new now one of the first things that pops up is this pac-man arcade now this is a set that is definitely on the to-do list now 
my initial thoughts on this, even though I never really played Pac-Man, it's more of a retro connection. I like retro stuff. And like the Atari, it's just really cool in that aspect. Now, I have seen some review videos about this set. The little characters, they do go around in place, which is really cool. So I do like that aspect of this. Now, and these characters do have a function to where they go back and forth as well. And let me see if I find a picture. Yeah, right here, as you can see, they do sit on top of the machine. Now, this machine is mostly sticker elements. I do know that top part is printed. And, of course, the coin slot element down here is lit. So this is the Pac-Man arcade set. It's set number, I think it's 10323. Yeah, right there. And it is 2,651 pieces, coming in at $270. Now, let's see how this set is doing with my local store. Because this is definitely one I want to seek. And they do have it in stock, so that is a very good thing. So that's the first one right there, guys, that I'm super interested in. Another really cool one that sticks out is the... Lego Ninjago City Market set. Now this set to me is really cool. Um, unfortunately, I do not build Ninjago, but if you do, then this is one that you definitely cannot miss. This is the set number 71799, coming in at 6,163 pieces. I do believe that this is just a few pieces short of being as big as Rivendale, which came out earlier this year. Now the most coolest thing about this set is it does feature the working toilet where the you know waste for lack of a better term can come down go out and go down the back so that is really cool about this set and also has these cool little room compartments that can slide straight out and it also features this gondola this set is the 370 dollars but because i don't have any of the other connecting ninjago sets to make a kind of a city out of this and I don't really have room to do it. Um, I just don't see this one in the future. Let's continue on, everybody. Next up is the Villains Icons set. Now, this is one that's definitely on the maybe list. It does say it is $130, set number 43227. Coming in at 1,540 pieces. It features these minifigs i can't think of their names right now i do know that is um gaston and i'm drawing a blank on the rest of these but they're from aladdin and sleeping beauty and the beauty and the beast but this is a really cool set i like how all the minifigs sit inside of the, the different parts of the pieces and another cool little thing to note is you get to build a vhs tape with this one so that is really cool now this one is saying it's on back order so let's, yeah, it's out of stock at my local store as well. So that's a little sad. So maybe by the time we do make purchases, this is one that we can make, and it will be there by that time. Another one that's super interesting to me is going to be the upscaled Lego minifigure for $50. Now this one is really cool. Store stock is out, which is unfortunate. It is set number 40649, coming in at 654 pieces. Now, this thing is super unique. It's got a very good size to it. And if I'm not mistaken, yes, as you can see, you can put the little minifigs that matches the bigger one inside of it like he's controlling himself from his cap, which is really cool. The lack of branding and the simplicity of this just being a classic minifig is super awesome. And that's one of the things that's really going to drive me to buy this set. Just hopefully when I do, it is available. Continuing on is going to be the, the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary sets right here. I don't want to talk too much about these because I already do in a I already will in a or I will in an upcoming video. Next up for the Lego City, definitely for the campground area of my city, which is getting small, but there's still plenty of room for vehicles, 
is this Land Rover Classic Defender for $15. I do like how they made a small version of the Defender. And I think this will be perfect. I also like the little minifig with the pineapple print. Again, this is uh, set number 40650, coming in at 1,050 pieces. Super, super clean, basic. It's a must for any LEGO City that you have or planning on. Again, we do have another Jurassic Park 30 here. And then we do have the Lotus Flowers for $12.99. I'm not going to click it. You know, it's pretty straightforward. 220 pieces. You guys know with my family and everything, this is going to be bought and given to the wife. That is a definite. Now, one that I am thinking about getting, because it's more in my budget and more basic, is this Hogwarts Express train set with Hogsmeade Station. This one is $130. It is set number 76423, coming in at 1,074 pieces. It does look like it does have a good range of minifigs from, from Hagrid to Harry to Ron and Hermione and I think even Draco. I can't see what that one is down there. But I do like this because I really do like the Hogwarts Express train. I just don't need and want the big version like I've already built on the channel for my mom slash the investor of the channel. So this is definitely one I got my eye on and it is currently in stock. So I do really like that. That's the perfect size for my collection. And that would be our first Harry Potter set. That's for us. Next up is this Doby the House Elf. 403 pieces, $35. Not a big fan of the figurines, but this one does look pretty cool. Another Jurassic Park 30 set right here. Then we have another one here. This is one for the four and older crowd right there. And then we do have this Expecto Patronum. Again, I don't have a lot of connection to this set. It is $69.99, 754 pieces. It does look pretty cool. But when I first saw it, I had to look at it and see the Harry Potter on it. But um, when I first saw it, I thought it was related to Frozen. I thought I was going to have to buy another set for my kid. Another one is the, I believe it's this one, the Battle of Hogwarts. Again, not really filling it. I don't think it's really necessary. I'm just going to let this one slide in um, or slide through. 730 pieces, $80. Another one is the Quidditch Trunk. This one does look pretty unique, but again, not really feeling it, not really my thing. It does come with some really cool minifigs, you know, some of the main characters in their Quidditch outfits, can't really argue with that, it all fits into a trunk. This is set number 76416, we're at 599 pieces for $68, so it's pretty unique. I think this is part of that dream something. Let's click it and see. Oh, this is part of the, nin the Ninjago stuff. This is another new Ninjago. Again, I don't really do Ninjago. The Gardens is the only thing that really sticks out. This is another new one. The 100 Years of Disney Animated Icons. Again, I'm going to skip this one. 1,022 pieces for $60. That price to piece count is actually pretty good. It's just not for me. One that my kid is interested in is the Enchanted Treehouse. 1,016 pieces for 160 This is going to be a fight for her not to get because everything that she gets, everything you see me help her build on the channel has wound up on the floor, destroyed by the cats. Not necessarily her fault, but again, she just doesn't have a good system to store Legos like that. Another one that I'm going to avoid is the Diagon Alley, Weas Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. With having Diagon Alley in the house, I expected more from the building itself, but it's very plain. This is 834 pieces and $90, and like I said, this one is going to be a skip. I was excited, but let's click it. But the inside, compared to the one on Diagon Alley, is just so lackluster, I have no desire for it. Continuing onward, we do have for a pre-order the Batman Joker Chase. This is definitely one I will be picking up on August the 1st. 
That cannot come soon enough because I definitely want to get this and build it. It is $48 for only 438 pieces. But for that, you do get the Michael Keaton hair of Batman with the Jack Nicholson Joker, which is pretty cool in itself. And take a look at that nice, I'm going to say it's about a Speed Champion scale Batmobile. So that is really cool. I do believe that this is another of the Ninjago that just came out. 1,029 pieces, $95. I think this might be another new one. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not feeling it. Now, this is one that I am going to pick up right here. This is the Bugatti Bolade in Agile Blue. As you guys know from watching the tour, I already have this set in yellow. But I always, I've always, i heard that if you get both sets in both colors and they are a limited release, that could be valuable. So it's very important that I get the blue one to match the yellow. Another set that I'm 50-50 torn about. The Batcave Shadow Box. This is set number 76252, coming in at 3,981 pieces. It does come with seven minifigs. But honestly, guys, how do you freaking store this? Like, my space is beginning to be needed not to be taken for granted. So I, don't, I do not know how I would store this. I do like how the bat symbol does let you look into the cave. These are the minifigs you get. This one does look like it's just a costume holder or an outfit holder. Looks like we maybe have like the Penguin, Alfred, Bruce Wayne, Catwoman. I'm not sure about him, but you also do get another Batmobile with this. But again, it's just like, how do you store that? Like, this marketing is terrible because it's literally showing you the size of the table. And a lot of people don't have room for Lego the size of a table. So that's that one. So that's the one I'm torn about. Continuing on. I think, I think this is another one of the Ninjagos. Not, and so is this one. Not thinking too much about it. If this is a new set, yeah, it's pre-order still. Again, Minecraft, I don't really do it. Same thing in Ninjago. This is part of the new lineup that I was trying to say earlier. The dreams with three Z's. I probably won't be doing anything of this line. It's meant more towards kids with the colors and stuff. It just doesn't seem very mature to me. And thus, I don't really want to waste my space in my collection for stuff like this. These minifig or brickheads are new. Harry Potter and Cho Chang. Again, these are probably ones I'm not going to pick up. Just don't have the space. But they are 267 pieces coming in at $20, so about $10 a piece, which is normal for that. Again, we have another set right here. Not too sure about. I'm going to let that one go. Part of the Dreams collection is this Mrs. Castillo's Turtle Van. Again, not my thing. Let it go. And then, I think this is more Ninjago. Here we have that one again. And then we do have this Hogwarts Castle and Ground. Now, guys, you guys got to really let me know how you feel about this one. This one comes out September 1st, 2023. And to me, it's like the Lego architecture equivalent of the Hogwarts Castle. Now, I don't know if I would want to do this or build the actual castle. The price difference is massive. You know, 500 to 170 here. But um, let me know down below what you guys think about this one because... I like the simplicity of it. It looks what it is. But do I want something that looks like it or do I want it? That's the big difference between $170 for that and $500 for the other one before they retire it. Here's another new uh, Brickheads is Kingsley Shacklebolt and Nymphordia Tonks. Again, $20, $10 a piece. I think this is another uh, Ninjago. I think this is another part of the dreams the tree house again another part of the dreams some of these are popping up double this is the other i think this is the final of the harry potter brickheads that are coming out draco malfoy and cedric diggory again ten dollars a piece twenty dollars combined same thing now this is one that is looking pretty cool for my technic collection the audi rs q e-tron coming in at 180 now, this thing looks really unique, only 914 pieces, 
usually for that price, you would probably start looking at getting over a thousand. So I think they probably had to pay a hefty licensing fee to get this to happen. Um, oh, it's actually a control model, so that's why it's a hefty price for what it is. So yeah, this is definitely one I'm looking at. I'm not a big fan of Audis, but the styling of this looks really cool. And since I already did the um, the, or I'm about to do the Peugeot tomorrow. Um, because it looks cool, might as well do that one as well. Now we do have this Donkey Kong set, Donkey Kong's Treehouse expansion set, $60, not really filling it. We do have some new friend stuff, again, don't tell my kid about it, and we'll all be fine. This Stormtrooper and Darth Vader Max for $16, I mean, they look flat out ridiculous. I am just going to ignore their existence. I have no desire for them. They don't even look legitimate. I mean, like seriously, I guess there's something for every market. So if you guys enjoy these, go ahead, enjoy them. Don't let my opinion stir you away. <clears throat> I think this is another part of the dreams. This is some new friend stuff coming out called Downtown, $200, 2,000 pieces. My kid's going to want this. I'm just going to tell her flat out, no. Then we do have the two new Jedi Temple. This is probably for kids. Obviously, by the minifigs, it is. I think this is another new Ninjago. And here is one that's really weird. The Venomized Groot. It's just like they put Venom over Groot. I don't think this is tied to a movie. If it is, it's probably Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Let me know in the comments below if... This happened in Guardians of the Galaxy 3, but if it didn't, why does this exist? It's not needed. We already have normal Groot with the cassette tape. Why do we got to add stuff to it? It's just not making sense. Continuing on, we got another Ninjago, it looks like. But this one is really cool, guys. The Arctic Explorer ship. This is part of the city stuff. I do like the way this one looks. I unfortunately will not be buying it. It just, just, I don't have a place for it, honestly. It is 815 pieces and $160. We do have some of these new mugs coming out. You'll see those spread out throughout everywhere. More friends, Ninjago stuff. I'm not sure what lineup. This is part of probably Dreams as well, because it says Dream. Then we do have this in game final battle coming. The minifigs look really cool in this, but for $100. I'm really not feeling it. Another one for for my kids that they're going to like is, is going to be this Gabby's Dollhouse. Again, not too sure. This NASA Mars ro Rover Perseverance. This is going to be an excellent buy for anybody who is into NASA and Technic and all that good stuff. I can see this one doing really well for that crowd. Same thing with this. Probably this crowd and this crowd is going to be linked together to want the John Deere. 948L2 skid loader. Here we have a Boba Fett mech. Again, you guys know I already am not filling it. Here we do have some of the new Sonic Green Hill Loop Zone Challenge. This is some of the new Sonic sets coming out. The space roller coaster looks really cool, but again, I just don't have place. Now, one thing I did really like is this one coming out here. This is Yoda's Jedi Starfighter for $35, coming out on August 1st. You do get Yoda, and it looks like you do get R2. This one looks very small, very cool. It is only 253 pieces. So I definitely will be buying this to add it to my collection. We do have the Pancake Shop, and we do have a Star Wars Advent Calendar coming out already. Another ceramic mug with a different face. If you look up here, we had one up here too with a different face. Not sure about buying the mugs. We do have a Yabin 4 Rebel Base coming soon. This one to me looks really cool. It even has a little Y-Wing up here. Um, this is more of something you buy for the minifigures. It's honestly WTF with storing this on a shelf. But this is definitely going to be one that I'm going to think about buying into. $170, 1,066 pieces. But these minifigs with these pendants... This is when they got their awards for their acts of service. This is really cool. Definitely something to think about. Then we do have the 332nd Ahsoka Clone Trooper Battle Pack. I think this is a really cool set. Again, it's definitely something to uh, think about. Uh, this, is, this will probably be released in honor of Ahsoka coming out in August. 
because this is August 1st, so this was going to be one that I'm probably going to pick up. I really do like that. We do have another one of these mugs with a different face on it. We have the Ski and Climbing Center that looks pretty cool. Another Gabby's Dollhouse. Now this is one that is really unique. I think I might pick this one up in August as well. It is $110 and it features all of these amazing minifigs, including this new part. This new part is included in the other one that I said I didn't like too much at Avengers Tower. But we got all three Spider-Man, Doc Ock, the Lightning Dude, we got the Green Goblin, we got his friend, and with Doctor Strange's cape on, Doctor Strange. And I think we do have the girlfriend, I can't place her name right now, sorry everybody for the purist out there. Again, $110, 900 pieces. Again, this is basically them fighting around the Statue of Liberty. It's definitely worth it for the, for the minifigs, just like the Battle of Yavin. Unfortunately, sometimes these things can be expensive. Another good one I'm looking forward to getting is going to be the Batwing, Batman vs. the Joker. This is going to be on the same size as the Batmobile that I said earlier. This one features the Joker in that cool little hat. You know, this is uh, 357 pieces as well. So this is definitely going to be one that will be coming home. Coming on down, we do have another Friends Main Street looking like it's coming soon. And we do have this new storage head, looks like. We do have this family house and electric car, part of the city thing. Pretty cool if you do city. We do have another um, Gabby's Dollhouse. I think this is... I'm not sure what series this is part of. This looks like it's part of the Dreams. We do have a passenger airplane set coming out, probably part of City. This one looks really cool, but just don't have place. And we, then we do have the Little Mermaid storybook. And then we do have this Lamborghini Huracan Tech, Technica. Now this is one I'm definitely going to think about. It's only part of the $50 range. And it does look pretty cool. Might just be bought for the collection to go with the Bugatti Bullades and the Senna that I currently have. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Oh, that other set's probably part of Monkey Kid, maybe. I'm not sure. We got some new Monkey Kid coming out. And we do have a new parrot coming out. Remember how I said earlier to get the parrot that's uh, yellow and blue? Well, now we have one that's blue, yellow, and pink. So this is definitely going to be coming home. It's only $20. Excuse me. Coming on down, we do have, I think, more of this dream stuff. More of the friend stuff. Or city. Same thing over here. Not going to worry about all that too much. Just keep on going down. We do have this Iron Man Hulkbuster versus Thanos. Again, not really going to be into that too much. Modified race cars, same thing. It's kind of thinning out over here. We do have... Another Gabby's Dollhouse one. I only mention the Gabby's Dollhouse stuff because if you have kids, like I do, they're probably going to be into that. We have this combo race pack. Car wash. Looks like we do have another Dry Bowser Castle expansion set. I'm not sure what they're expanding or how all of that works. Over here to page 9. We have another advent calendar coming out for friends. We have another Batman set geared for younger kids. We, we have another Sonic set. We have another one. Anna and Elsa's Magical Carousel. Probably good for kids as well. And that's looking very much like it. And yeah, that's looking like it right here. So... Just to verify everything, we do have, um, here's a snapshot of the major releases that are out right now. The Pac-Man, the Markets, the, the Batcave, all of these. Coming soon is all of these. They're saying that the Flower Pot's going to come back. And then starting um, on the 9th to the 13th, we're going to have two times points. This is time to buy anything expensive and get those points. Another set I didn't see pop up is these Disney duos. This is one I am thinking about picking up. I do like the characters. They just seem really unique. Again, Ninjago, Pac-Man, Batcave. Those are three of the hugest things right now. 
The icons of play, I skipped over that one. I just, I'm not feeling it. These bottom three, I'm definitely feeling the top two, not so much. Again, I talk about these in my upcoming Jurassic Park video. And this is more of the city stuff that I kind of glossed over, but you guys did see in there. Pretty cool. This is the new Jedi Temple. This is all the new Ninjago sets that I kind of glossed over. This is all the new friend stuff that I lightly glossed over. Stuff I gotta make sure my kid doesn't notice. Especially ones like this. She would really love that. And like I said, these are the new Harry Potter sets. The only one I'm really interested in is this one right here. We'll have to go from there. Technic sets. These are the three new Technic as you guys saw. But the one I'm interested in is this one. Coming on down. Here's the new Monkey Kid stuff. Here's the new uh, Superheroes. That is out. And that's all that on that page. So that wraps it up for, for this part of the video. Now back to the studio and let's wrap it up. So with that, guys, that wraps up one of the, well, the first vlog since being back from vacation. If there was any of those sets that I did not show interest in, like I'm going to pick them up in July the 1st, Go ahead, drop a comment below if there's anything that you guys would like to see. If I get an overwhelming response, it may sway me to go ahead and purchase that. My studio is starting to get a little tight, so I don't really want to cram, but there's always new stuff coming, so we're going to have to make room sooner or later. So let me know in the comments below. I'll calculate your opinions on any of those sets you think I should try. And review for you guys because I do do these reviews for you so if there's anything you guys would like to see let me know so I could consider it so with that like I said all throughout the video I'm back I'm glad to be back I'm glad to be making content with you guys again with the you know current version of myself the more confident and you know relaxed version it's nice I've been watching those last nine videos I released during the cruise, and it, it was rough. Now the, now, the video I released of the cruise is rough in only the sense of being over an hour long. And then the ATSD Raider was, you know, it was okay. But now we are back, and we're doing good quality stuff again, and it just feels really positive. So with that, if you guys like videos like this, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate what you guys do for the channel. Let me know in the comments below if you would like any of those sets to be featured. And on that one, everybody, you all have a great one. Whatever it may be, have it, have it and do it great. Thank you for watching. <laughs>